consumption to come out of it. But when you're not producing anything, you can't use consumption to come out of it. Because what you're going to do is that you're going to go in down deeper. Borrowing is not a problem. Every country, when she introduced what they were after, when she introduced, uh, when I was listening to my dear sister, tell, say this is what they expect me to do. He cited that wonderful country, Singapore. Singapore debt to GDP today is over 120 percent. But go and read Singapore law. It says you can only borrow for investment. So it's a law, it's written. So whatever you borrow, you invest in. I can compare you countries that borrow for investment. The one that usually comes to mind is Bangladesh. I use it every day. Bangladesh. We were at the same level of debt in Bangladesh in the sense that in 2010, Bangladesh debt to GDP was about 45%. Their GDP was about 115 then. What about 45 billion dollars? Their per capita was 747 dollars. Ours then was 2,250. Our GDP was 375 billion. Today, Bangladesh GDP has, is now over 300 billion. Their debt has gone up to where it is now 115 billion dollars. So it's gone down a little bit. It was, it's not about, it's gone down a percentage. If I remember, it's gone down a little bit in percentage. No, 2010 it was about 35, now it's about 33. Now, Nigeria, I guess have moved from about 30 something for something billion dollars to 100, for what you said now, assist 60 trillion, that's what you said. If we use their rate, it's about 120 billion dollars. So our debt has tripled. Our per capita is now 1,908, call it 2,000. So in, in 10 years, over 10 years, our debt tripled. Our per capita, which is a measure of the economy, have almost lost 10%. That's not acceptable. What we needed to do now is that if their own can move from their per capita, see, is not over $200, 2000 They move from 747 to over $2,000. Ours should have moved from $2,250 to about at least $3,000. That's what it should have been. So the money we borrowed, we threw it away. That is the crisis we are facing. It's simple. So how are you going to deal with that? You insist that all borrowed money will be used strictly for investment and for things that will contribute in building a better country, no longer. But remember, when you remove subsidy, when you remove subsidy, deal with the issue of corruption, increase your own response, you reduce your deficit. You can restructure what is existing. Have room to accommodate more investable borrowing. And start dealing with issues. Because subsidy, even though the president you're saying now, part of it, by that you remove subsidy, remove corruption. You have bad money that is pursuing dollar today. They will all go away. You see the rate. You stabilize where it's supposed to be. Thank you, thank you very much, Your Excellency.